Hey guys, it's RG the Optimus, bringing us our very first week of uh, the Riolu Academy. Um, no team builder, but just know, one, Chrome wasn't responding for a, a long time. Ooh, Grimmsnarl is actually the one that came out. I was not just now. Um, I was putting Lalanderous to be the lead, not Grimmsnarl. Okay. And a Volt Switch. I think it still works out. Alright, anyways. Or maybe not. Okay. That was 19% of health. I need to check my damage count. I'm gonna pull off. This storm will respond! Come on. Okay. So now I go here to Chrome Respond. Galvantula. I spell the Galvantula. Bolt switch would do. Warrior on. Soul switch would do like 50 with no investment, but that's even without easy light. Easy light, and I'm guessing he is invested in something. Bolt switch would do. 23 to 28 if he's physically defensive. So he is specially defensive. Alright, so this is probably the mod I want to get my webs up on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out to Yum. And I'm going to go back out to Bug Zapper. Less, how much damage does Yum just do to this thing? Cause it is, it is specially uh, defensive. Facade will do 68 to 81. So it has a chance to Oko, but I'm gonna U-turn. Out in the bug zapper. And now I can get my sticky webs up. Alright, so he's probably gonna try to put up his rocks. I think I just thunder. And I missed. It's all cool. It's Mons. I'm gonna stick it right now. And now I got to Afro Mama. So he might be physical, which really limits things. I'm gonna sleep powder.
Also, he's not in li life orb. Alright, if I were him right now, I would go out and know Napoleon. I'm going to have Bug Zapper. Alright, let me bring up the Calc. Do I even need Thunder to kill this thing? Because if I just need Volt Switch, I'm going to be a little upset. Let me go Galvantula. I can learn how to spell. Against. Holy on. Dude, even Thunder's not killing. I'm still gonna hit Thunder. Okay, so Skull did a lot of damage. And now I believe I just need the bolt switch. Thunder did how much did Thunder do? Thunder did 64% to this thing. Meaning 64%, which means that he does have some investment. In fact, he could be fully invested in special events. Skull doing 50 to 59 percent. Yeah, I did that much. Okay, um... Instead of this, what if I had Volt Switch? Volt Switch does 36 to 43. So it should kill. And he might set up rocks... ...right here. I can't have that. I'm going back out to Afro Mama. Okay. That did a lot. He's got to be choice specs, right? If I can learn how to spell, not lampant. <laughs> Landers. But instead of rock slide, go with large wave. Against Elder Goths. No, it just actually just straight up does that much. 48, 48, 58%. But it could be Choice Scarf. But I'm not going to risk that and go into capping right now. I need Afro Mama for if he uh, gets rocked up. Alright, I'm going Mega Tank. Now he's going to go for a ground type, right? If not, then he's choice. Now I go young. He's counting and seeing that my Blastoise is purely offensive. <laughs> I'm quitting Facade. Because the only thing that really wants to come in on this thing, which is Empoleon, is dead. Pretty much. I mean, he's got what? 36% left, so if I can do 18% to this thing 
Also, if you see my little brother in the background, he's my dog. Cookie. Wello. No, not blank set. Yum. Against Polion. He's actually sacking off the Polion. Cookie. So it's not a 6-0. Go me. I didn't get 6 out. Well, who does he send into this thing? Calyrex? Glacialize isn't... Doesn't have priorities, right? Let's see. How much damage do I do to Calyrex, though? Sod only does 52%, like, low roll. He's got the- I'm- I would honestly just go Calyrex. Yom is such a big threat. Either that or he goes Empoleon to defog. But even then, Facade might just kill. Because it's base 140 power. Empoleon. Facade does, depending on what he has, I'm pretty sure we already discussed that he was, we already discovered that he's maxed. Special defense. Yeah, how comes Calyrex? So now here's the big decision. Do I just drop Calyrex here? Not Calyrex, yum. Because if he predicts me going out into Captain and hits uh, high horsepower, that would be devastating. I could also just straight up Toxic it. This is tough. This is tough. Let me see. How well does Mega Tank live stuff from Calyrex? Does Icicle Spear have, uh, priority? I don't think so. Ice Shard has priority. Blastoise. Cannot take a high uh, glacial lance. It do 69 to 81%. And he's at 57. So regardless, if I U-turn into Blastoise, he's done. But who would I rather have, Blastoise or Swellow? I think it's Swellow. Oh, also, during team building, I was going to explain this at the very beginning, but I didn't. I got just so irritated because there were so many mons that just do insanely good, but I couldn't bring them all. Or could I? So I did. I just brought them all with no defense. <laughs> I never do that. I also do like nothing in return. If I do go for him. Let's see. I'll keep it on call like that for Meta. Metagross? 
Mega Metagross? Meteor Mash does not kill. So I need a uh, safe switch into. If he goes for a ground type move right now. You turn super effective anyway, so there's no point. Alright, now I go Mega Tank. Sorry, Mega Tank! Oh, he's gonna set up the Trick Room! So, which means he's not Choice Banded. Which means this Surf is gonna do a heck of a lot of damage. Oh, he's got Seed Bomb. Rip. Do I have anything that outslows this thing? No, because he's under. This might just be GG. I do have Bullet Punch, though. How much damage does Bullet Punch do? If I'm max attack. Bullet Punch does 45%. So if I can just lower him a little bit, that's that probably being Skittles. Can Skittles live a Glacial Lance? Journey. Whatever. That is not what I wanted. He does not live a glacial land. Does Cap now that he's not now I know he's not choice man. Does Captain live a uh, high horsepower? He has a chance to live high horsepower. What? Oh. It's in his, it's in his role. But there's a chance for Captain to come out here. Okay, so he had a Babiri Berry. We got the chance! Oh, but he... Okay, so I have to sack off somebody. Hmm. I think it's gotta be Bug Zapper. Because both my Pokemon right now... Well, he's on, it's 36. How much damage did my facade do to the do to a fully defensive? Napoleon. Only special in defense for four hours, but um Facade does 38 to 45. So yes, everybody can kill. Everyone but Afro Mama can kill Napoleon.
Do I really need Aqua Mama anymore? This thing might be Choice Scarf, actually. And if it is, how much does... Rock Slide, I guess, do? I think I sack off Bug Zapper to see what he does. Sludge Wave. Alright, and Skittles does not outspeed, by the way. Sludge Wave does take out Swellow. The facade has a chance, the same chance, to take out Landorus as uh, Calyrex did to Captain. Wait, no, that's Life Orb. That's Life Orb damage. He's not Life Orb. So Sludge Wave does not take me out. At least not from full. I'm at, it does. It does because of the amount of damage I'm taking from Burn. No, I didn't mean to do that! No, it's time to find out if you're a Choice Scarf or not. Not your Choice Scarf. Well, there it is, guys. First loss. Uh, GG's to Sully. Um, yeah, Swallow was so good. If only I could have kept around my Blastoise or my um, Metagross. If I, if I would have kept around uh, Blastoise, I think I would have won the match. But I sacked Blastoise off. Really early on, which was so stupid. But if I would have kept Blastoise, Blastoise could have handled Dandorus. Not from the health that he was at, because I was stupid and just played flimsy with him. But, um, yeah, next, for the next one I'm gonna, I'm gonna do better, and uh, hopefully I'll win. You guys stay awesome, I know I will, and I'll see you next time.